This is part 5 of ASP.NET Web Services tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss overloading web methods in ASP.NET Web Services. This is continuation to part 4, so please watch part 4 from the Web Services tutorial before proceeding with this video. Method overloading allows a class to have multiple methods with the same name but with a different signature. In C Sharp, methods can be overloaded based on the number, type, and the kind of parameters. We discuss the basics of method overloading in part 25 of the C-Sharp tutorial series. So if you're new to method overloading, please watch part 25. Web methods in a web service can also be overloaded and we use message name property for that purpose. Let's understand with an example overloading web methods in a web service. Let's flip to Visual Studio. This is the same calculator web service that we have been working with in this video series. To keep things simple, Let's get rid of this implementation within the add method and let's only leave this last line. And let's also get rid of these properties. Let's make a copy of this add method. Now if you look at these two add methods here, they are identical. They have got the same name, they have got the same number, type and kind of parameters. So now if we build the web service, obviously we are going to get a compilation error. That's because if we want to overload methods, they have to differ at least in the number, type or kind of parameters. So let's overload these add methods within the web service based on the number of parameters. So this add method here has got two parameters. Let's make this add method to have three parameters and let's call the third parameter third number and this method is going to add three numbers so first add method is going to add two numbers the second add method is going to add three numbers so here we are differing you know the number of parameters between these two methods so we are overloading based on the number of parameters now when we build this web service it should build successfully notice within the status bar build succeeded. Now let's view this web service in a browser window. Look at this, we get an error and look at what the error says. Add method which has got three integer parameters and the add method which has got two integer parameters use the same message name add. But if you look at the methods here, did we specify message name here? No, we didn't. So if we don't specify message name property of the web method attribute, then by default, the name of the method is going to be the message name. And then web services are using the same message name for both of the methods. So the web service, that is our calculator web service, doesn't know how to uniquely identify these two methods. So they, there needs to be a, a different message name. So in order to overload web methods in a web service, we need to use message name property of the web method attribute. So let's use message name and let's specify the message name for this add method as add two numbers. So basically this method is adding two numbers. So that's what we are specifying the message name as. So now let's view the web service in the browser window. Now look at this, we get a totally unrelated error and that's basically because when we added this web service to this project web services demo, Visual Studio IDE has auto-generated this web service binding attribute for us. And by default it's setting the Visi profiles to basic profile. Now let's change this to none. And now let's view the web service in the browser. That should fix that error. And now look at this, we are able to view both of the add methods. Look at them, both of them have got the same name here, but the message name for this add method is add two numbers. But for this add method, if you look at the SOAP request message, look at that, the name of the method is add. And for the other add method, 
within the soap request message notice that the name I mean the message name basically is add two numbers so now the web service has got a way to uniquely identify these methods within the web service okay so this is a very common interview question as well is it possible to overload web methods in a web service the answer is yes and we need to use message name property for that so this message name property is used to uniquely identify the individual XML web service methods. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.